already. We're just going to real quick backtrack, walk me through kind of what's going on right now. Well, uh, the flames are significantly lower than they were whenever I first was awakened by the explosion and, and my wife came running into the home thinking that uh, our home was being shot at. And when I got out there, grabbed my pistol and ran to the front door, I uh, saw that the front and back door were splintered and the wood had flown everywhere. So uh, it was obvious that it, then I could see the flames from the backyard. So uh, contacted Mike. Uh, immediately and, and he was on route so we got down here and visited with Chief Nelson uh, made sure that uh, the command center was moved back further from the flames uh, the uh, Sabine Nature's Chiefs Association pre-disaster contract was was called up so that they could get some some water cannons out here to begin fighting the blazes and thankfully uh, we got about a rain that uh, seems to have significantly decreased the, the flames that I can see over in the background. So, is, is it under control? No, it's still burning. Um, they're trying to get water on it now. The rain helped a lot. Uh, we called an evacuation earlier for a half mile radius, and I've just done a new call where we're going to do a shelter in place from straight line from TPC to 347, quarter mile in each direction off a straight line. Okay. So it's like a big rectangle that we're doing the shelter in place. Okay. Our information so far is that there's no fatalities, that there have been uh, three injuries. Uh, one's been released, one with a broken arm. We don't know the status of the third one, but we're led to believe that they're minor. And so we're hopeful that that information is going to prove to be correct. Jack Brooks had uh, where they were had medical helicopter medical help there taking people. Do y'all know if That was a taking? staging area. They weren't bringing them there. That was there. where they were just staging the ambulances okay. and the ambus from the Tuscasitas there. They're just staging them. So in case something happens with responders here, we have them close by to get. To get them out of here quickly. Yeah, my information from the Red Cross is that they're setting up a, a shelter at First Baptist Church in Nederland, and so uh, if anyone needs to get away from their home, needs a place to go, then they can go there. What is y'all's biggest concern right now? Our biggest concerns, I think, are the uh, uh, remaining tanks out there Getting and the threat that the yeah. fire poses to those exploding, and and so. Uh, we're going to have to have a discussion because I, I think maybe a half mile is more appropriate than a quarter mile, and we we, we need to uh, have a discussion about that. But uh, the blast this morning was significant. I talked to several of my neighbors who uh, were on streets further away from the blast site than us, and their windows were blown out. So uh, it, it, it was a powerful explosion. The big concern a lot of people are wanting to know is air quality um, and what chemical is burning right now. You, you Be visited with TCQ. Butadiene and TCQ is on their way to start air monitoring. Um, they're probably here, I just haven't seen them yet. In fact, I'm sure they're here, okay. but I haven't seen them yet. Do haven't, did they give you any indication on it, like if this chemical is harmful or anything? Well, they make butadiene and it's a... Uh, uh, People can Google it. Okay. And again, y'all, I know there's been some neighborhood evacuations. Are y'all thinking that there's going to be more evacuations to come? Or do y'all feel like y'all have that kind of under control right now? We're going to be visiting with each other and as well as the fire uh, chief here in Port Natchez and the mayor. And, and we'll be discussing that issue. Else that people need to know or to ease their worries? Well, I think the safest route is always going to be to evacuate. And even if you call for a, a quarter mile or a half mile evacuation, if they have relatives that were further away, you know, you can go visit with your family and get out of the area. And any concerns right now? Have they let y'all know if there's concerns of a second explosion or anything like as that? As long as it's burning, that's a concern. 
Now, I do know, I will tell you that uh, Huntsman has some interconnectivity with their pipeline. They've shut those all down. There's also a, a plant in the northern part of the county that supplies the plant, and they've shut those pipelines down. So, uh, you, you know, everybody that's concerned uh, has been very proactive in making sure that they shut off any chemicals or, or uh, refined products that could pose a danger. Do y'all have the Coast Guard coming as well? They're here. Yeah. <laughs> and they're going to, how are they going to be? They're, because, because of the waterway. She's just going to be like a liaison with me. Yeah, and the waterway has been shut down. Okay. And what waterway is that exactly? The Sabine Nature's Sabine. waterway. Alrighty. Anything else that maybe people need to know or y'all want to stress or? No, just, uh, I mean, the, the safest thing to do, obviously, is to evacuate the area and to, place yourself out of harm's way.